friends, this is Tech Kid again. It's now time for the school science project. So here I took the topic which is robotics technology. Robotics does not only mean automated cars or humanoids. Robotics means science, technology and human intelligence working together to solve the problems faced by humans. So here I took the problem of the blind people. It is very difficult for them to walk on a busy road. My solution to this is the smart shoe which can predict the objects before some distance. Let me show you how this works. First I have to power on the circuit. A blind person who is wearing the smart shoe is walking on a road. As you can see he is blurring the beep and that means there is an obstacle. To avoid it he changes his direction. As you can see, he is hearing the beep again and that means there is an obstacle again. So he changes his path again to avoid the obstacle. As you can see, he is not hearing the beep. That means there is no obstacle and the blind person can continue walking. So with this experiment, we can conclude that this smart shoe is definitely going to help the blind people to walk with more ease and with confidence. So, to make this smart shoe, I have used only three components, which is the microcontroller Arduino Uno, the ultrasonic sensor, and as you can see here, the buzzer. Of course, this is a smart shoe, so of course you need a shoe. And this is the circuit, so you of course need power. And here I have used the Xiaomi Redmi power bank. And this is the cable. This is the USB cable which is which is available with the microcontroller. All these components are easily available in the market. So you need so nothing is need to import and all. So you can take a quick view of the smart shoe. Here is the ultrasonic sensor which is mount on a triangular cardboard ramp. To fix the ultrasonic sensor, I have used the double sided tape and I have used the double sided tape for the microcontroller and the buzzer. To fix this in place, I have used a normal tape which is available in the novelty shop. All these components are available in the market. Now let me explain the circuit. So this is the puzzle and this is the ultrasonic sensor. This positive points are connected here and put into the VCC. Now the negative ones. The negative ones are similarly connected and then put into the GND. Now the input and output. As I told you, the trig and the echo represent represent input and output. So the trig is put into pin number nine, and the echo is put in pin number ten. Same the buzzer. Instead of the trig and the echo, the buzzer has the input output pins. which is inserted into pin number 3. So that's how the circuit works. And as I told you, to power on the circuit, I have used a power bank. So here, I am going to show you what happens inside the microcontroller. This is the... This won't work without the coding part. So let me show you what coding is inside this. So this um this is the this is the circuit which works in a loop and it's the ultrasonic sensor senses the obstacle and it says if object is present if yes then the buzzer is turned on and if no the buzzer is turned off this this happens inside inside the microcontroller you do not need to 
input the program again and again because this has intelligence you can you have to program only one time and this can perform task and this can perform task many times you can program this using your computer the the programming is work the programming you can do the programming in the ordino software now let me show you how this works in reality so for example a blind person is walking as you can see that he is hearing the beep and that means there is an obstacle as i explained so it is true if there is no obstacle if there is no obstacle there is no beep so friends with this project we can conclude that this smart shoe is definitely going to help the blind people to walk with more ease and with confidence so friends if you liked my project please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more interesting videos which are coming this week thank you